Hello, this is Casey back here. This is part four of my How to Solve a Rubik's Cube series. And um, last we left off, we saw the first two layers. So yeah. So now, what we're gonna do? We're gonna solve the top side and the the top layer. So let's let, let's start. So here's case one of here's case one of um of the top side cross you have to make a cross on the top side before you do the corners so if you see a line like this that's our goal so we have to go like this like this like this okay so yeah Here, here's the here's the only other case you'll see. Well, there's one more, um, and it, it's like an L. So you're gonna have to do this twice, like this. And then do it again. So yeah, like that. And you got the cross and you two corners. Now the only other case is where the center, the center is there. It's just the center. So here's what you do. You just here's what you do. So here's what you do. What you have to do, you have to do this twice. So then here's your line. And then you have to twist it like that. And then like that. Perfect. So let's move on to the next step. The corners. So what this 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 what this does is it twists twists the corners clockwise. Just twist this clockwise, this clockwise, and this clockwise. It just doesn't turn the bottom, the bottom right corner clockwise. That's all. So here's what we do. So this is gonna turn clockwise. It's not not gonna be there. This is gonna be clockwise. It's not gonna be there. This is gonna be turned clockwise. This is gonna be turned clockwise like that. So it will be there, and our goal is to have this cross and just one orange corner. So let's do the algorithm. Like that. So then we put the we put the we put this corner where it won't be turned, and then we usually do it. Like that, and as you see, it to you it just looks like um, it just moved this corner right here, but it actually twists the corners clockwise, except for that one which is now here. So I have to twist it twice, twist the top part twice, and then do it one more time, which I already showed you. So I'm just gonna do it fast. So there, there's the orange side. So here's what you do. Next. So, as you can see, there's um yellow. There's um what we're supposed to look for are headlights. So yeah, there's no headlights here, no headlights here, no headlights here, no headlights. Oh, I forgot to tell you what headlights are. Headlights are um. Mm, where uh, there's one color right here and two of the same colors right here. So yeah. So uh, if you can't find headlights, look for something on the like like a plain side. If you can't find a plain side, look for a straight side and then turn it towards its color and then put that on on the very back and do this. You have to twist the back. So yeah. Pay, pay, uh, pay close attention.
there. So then you find quite a straight side, but at the back we have one, two, three headlights, and one plain side. Put the plain side at the back, and then you do this algorithm. like that. And as you can see, it looks like it didn't do anything, but it at, what it does is it puts this corner here, this corner here, and this corner here. So that's what it does. So uh, let's try, let's try it one more time and it will be solved. There. It's solved now. Congratulations, folks. You're now a Rubik's Cube genius. Congratulations. Bye!